as is. I'll tend up for the first night. The museum's just over there. Somewhere. Nice frosty morning. Arctic. It's half for six. And uh, we're off back to the trail from the museum where we stayed last night. Let's see whether we can better our 1.6 miles that we did yesterday. <laughs> Beautiful morning. This looks like one of those mornings where we're not going to make any progress because it's just time to stand and stare. Railway track. Three miles done. Not all of them today. <laughs> It is so flowery and green. There's a lot of these little spider webs around little holes. Now tarantulas live in the ground, but I'm pretty sure that's too small for a tarantula. Lovely little flowery bush here. Stopped for second coffee at mile 5.8, something like that. There's the man in charge of the coffee. And we're filtering in the water. We picked up some water on, at the source of uh, at uh, 4.67, wherever that was, um, in the dirty bag carried it with us so now that we're having a break anyway we're filtering it and we're trying to dry out the tent got a lot of condensation last night unsurprisingly with the temperatures dropping so much it's actually more or less dry but you know can never harm but yeah coffee that's the important thing coffee coffee and tea. coffee See what it is yet? Doing push-ups. It's another good little flowing creek. It's about the third one we've passed ever since we've picked up the water. Today's the days of lizards. There's a hill at about 7.8 miles. Oh. It's not to be underestimated. It's quite a climb. Oh, first tawny toad. Very gorgeous. No one told me about that one. <laughs> Having lunch at mile nine, trying to catch this bird. It's been teasing us all along. Mm -hmm. no, mm. no. Having Trader Joe tortillas. Yeah. They are really not. Tastes good. like cardboard. Don't know whether we picked up an old pack or something, but really brittle. Let's come through that gate. We're starting our descent into House of Canyon, I think. I think they're manzanita trees. They're extraordinary. You see the 
back. It looks like plastic. <laughs> to be honest, it feels like plastic. Point four. Point four away from Hauser Kick. Yeah, well, we're just taking a tiny break. I know it's a ridiculous break given that we're point four away, but this is quite a steep path down and a bit further up behind Brian. Um, when it leaves the dirt road and starts turning into this path, it, it's taking a lot of damage. You can see where we're going to walk tomorrow. Oh yeah, yeah, over there. That is the way up. Okay, my finger's completely not in the right place down there. <laughs> you can see the pain, I think. Yeah, and that's probably the noise we're going to make while we're going up there. This is what day one looked like for us. We started at Campo and hiked out past this really nice campsite here at about four miles. That's a lovely spot if you, you know, if you're starting late at the border and uh, you want to do a little bit. That's a nice spot. There were plenty of water sources all the way up to about mile seven, sort of here-ish. That's where the the climb started up Hauser Mountain and that was dry. That's all quite dry. Hauser Mountain was surprisingly uh, brutal. I mean, it's not much of a hill, but yeah, you don't really expect it that early on. And then uh, we found at about mile 12 there's a, a good water source again running at the moment, as of end of March. And then starts the long descent into Hauser Canyon and to Hauser Creek campsite. 